Our first graduate student speaker graduates with a Master of Science in Real Estate Development. Please join me in welcoming Richard Bartlett to the podium. <laughs> Good morning, honored guests, members of the faculty and administration, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. It is an honor for me to speak here on behalf of the class of 2013. What a great day. We are a, div we are a diverse group of graduates being recognized at the end of this chapter in our academic lives. Our time spent at NYU has been unique and special. We pause today to draw attention to the celebration that serves as a reminder of how valuable our education and accomplishments are to our continued growth. For nearly 80 years, NYU's School of Continuing Professional Studies has been dedicated to providing students with current and competitive skill sets that can be used to meet the challenges and demands of the marketplace and the global economy. I am from a small town in Ohio, and the big city lights of New York awed me from the moment I got here. My mother was born and raised in Coney Island. Lord knows how she spent 35 years away from here. But I have always wanted to live in New York. After almost a decade of working on political campaigns and in the area of public safety, my dream, my opportunity, presented itself here at SCPS. My journey has been an amazing one, inside the classroom and out. New York City and the Shack Institute of Real Estate knocked me over from day one, as I had no background in real estate. In my first semester, I even had a professor ask me point blank, what are you doing here? <laughs> but I had come to the greatest city in the world to study how to use the physical environment buildings, infrastructure, housing, how to finance development, how to help reinvest in communities, communities like so many in my home state of Ohio that have been forgotten. We have all come here with a purpose. Outside the classroom, I've been putting these skills to use as an intern at Empire State Development Corporation in affordable housing finance and industrial rehabilitation. During my time here, I have been blessed to visit towering skyscrapers in Mumbai, India, neighborhood and community development projects in New Orleans, and volunteered with our colleagues and alumni to help fellow New Yorkers after Sandy in the Rockaways and in my mother's Coney Island. And I am filled with gratitude for those administrators, faculty, and colleagues who made this journey with me. It has been a privilege to attend NYU and that privilege must be converted into efforts that pay forward our gifts and talents that expand our own path. Woody Hayes, the famous football coach from my other alma mater, Ohio State University, <laughs> taught this principle to his players and other students, that paying forward is the greatest thing that we can do with our education for the rest of our lives. For so seldom do we get to pay back those who have helped us the most, parents, mentors, and professors. Ralph Waldo Emerson also had something to say about that. You can pay back only seldom, but you can always pay forward. And you must pay line for line, deed for deed, and cent for cent. He said, beware of too much good accumulating in your palm, or it will fast corrupt. For us, our worth may not be measured in the amount of dollars that we make, but in the ability that we have to use our skills and talents to help others. For all the unique and wonderful experiences that NYU SCPS has afforded us, we can do exactly that by sharing our successes and failures with a new student, negotiating and moderating among all parties contributing to a project, or volunteering to help those less fortunate. In that way, we honor our education here at SCPS. Today, more than ever, we must also remember that our NYU SCPS community has been supported by loved ones far and near, family, friends, mentors, children, and even pets, from whom we draw our confidence and strength. 
their encouragement allowed us to bring all of our energy to each class, assignment, and project. We have grown together in the classroom, in the workplace, at social events, and while doing relief work supporting Hurricane Sandy victims. We are humbled and grateful for your support, which has helped us to be good students, colleagues, and friends to each other in our professional lives. We could not have done this alone. What a great day. Our participation in this convocation means that each of us have completed the first leg of our journey. The question facing each of us now is, together, where will we go? Forward. Congratulations, class of 2013. God bless you.